Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. We are talking about some cool stuff in this episode per request from our patrons. We're gonna teach our Siberian Husky how to wait patiently for that dinny dinny dinner. Now a lot of you have Huskies at home and every time you wanna fill up the bowl and give them some food, they start going crazy. Do you have one of those dogs where every single time you shake that bag, they come running to the kitchen, jumping up on the counter, making a fool of themselves? It's okay, a lot of us have puppies that do. They get really excited excited about eating and that's okay cuz eating is sweet if you know what I mean they're like dad we like to eat the kibbles we like to eat the meat we like to eat everything that's good and sweet he was like I'm waiting for the day that my dad oh stop singing cuz it's breaking my ears the solution to teaching your Siberian huskies how to patiently wait for their food is easy peasy Japanesey all you have to do are a few simple steps and in literally no time both of your dogs will be waiting on the floor very patiently without having to knock every single kibble on the floor. And you will be happy because you won't be cleaning up no more mess. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how to get our Siberian Huskies to wait patiently for their dinny din din. You guys ready? I'm ready. Come on, let's go. Now, of course, we always say the first thing you gotta get is a doggo. So go ahead and get yourself a doggo.exe and then on to the next step, getting yourself, well, a dog bowl and another dog bowl in case you got two Huskos. Then you're gonna get some food. Right here, we got some blue buffalo. Now, as I said in previous episodes, blue buffalo is not my favorite food. The thing is, is that when they came home, when they were little bitty puppies, before I got them from the breeder, they were eating blue buffalo. So it's something their tummies are used to. It's something that they're able to digest easily. So we go with that whenever we are low on the good stuff. And right now, we are low on the good stuff. So at this point, your dogs are probably sitting right here in the kitchen like, dude, we are waiting. They're probably even jumping up onto the counter saying, come on, man, I can't wait any longer. Hilo right here, she's being a good little princess. She is always so patient. But maybe your dog isn't like that. Maybe your dog goes bonkers and is in your face like, So if that's the case, this is what you're gonna do. All right, now you got your dog sitting right here. You got your dog food sitting in front of you. Now you are well equipped to start your training. Now the first process that you're going to have to do is teach your Husky to sit or lie down. Here's both examples, lying down and sitting. So your dog at this point may be going crazy. If they don't know to sit at this point with the food right here, you're gonna have to train them to do this. If your dog is not right here yet to where they can patiently sit with a bowl of food sitting on a stool, then you should not progress to the next step. But if your dog can patiently sit like this and wait with a bowl of food up on a stool in front of them, then you are basically ready for the next step. But first, let's cover this little step right here. So let's say your dog is freaking out. They can't stand it because the food is sitting right here. What you're going to do is you're going to take the food, right? You're going to take one little piece of it out. You're going to take the food and you're going to put it up on a higher elevation, okay? Away from your dog. Not so close to their face. When they do sit like this, you're going to take the bowl and you're going to slowly move it down to the stool. And if they move right here, let's say they, they get up right here, take it and put it back. Reposition them to sit. Interrupt them. Okay? When they're sitting again, take that bowl. Let's try and move it back down to the stool. They get up. If they stand up, move it back. Bring it back when they're repositioned. Put it on the stool. And if they can maintain this right here, reward. Good boy. That's a good boy. He's such a good boy. This is the first most basic step to getting your puppo to staying still and being patient for their dinner. <laughs> Look at Hila, she's like, let me see what's in the bowl. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to work slowly from there if you're at this point until they can get comfortable with their food being right here and they can stay seated you should not progress forward. So work on that. All right, so basically, you're ready for the next step if your pup is a pro at this. All you have to do now is move this bowl from the stool 
down to the floor. Now, maybe you don't have a stool at home. Not everyone has a perfect wooden crafted stool sitting around. Just look for something that's elevated. Maybe you have a step ladder. Maybe you have a box at home. It doesn't matter what you use. It just needs to be a little bit taller than where your dog is standing and where they're sitting. Now, what we're gonna do is basically gonna do the same thing we did from the counter onto the floor. We're gonna grab our bowl, okay? We're gonna lower it. Stay. You're gonna say stay. Now this is really hard for dogs because as soon as you start lowering food below their eye level, they become really anxious to start eating. Now I wanna reiterate, this is going to take a lot of time and practice. You need to do this with every single meal. Every single time you decide to feed your pup a Rooney pizza, you need to be implementing this training before they get to eat. Every single time. Never take your bowl and throw it on the floor and just be like, here it is for free. Make your pup work for it. That's how they are gonna become super smart and have effective communication. So let's take this bowl, we'll say stay, stay, and we're gonna lower it. If Britney Spears moves at this point, we're gonna take the bowl and we're gonna put it back, okay? And we're gonna reposition him to sit. Stay, stay, stay. So at this point, he's not gonna go after the food. I've told him to stay. He's very focused on it. He was like, dude, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. So let's go ahead and do this with Gila. So we're gonna take our food in our hand, right? We're gonna say, stay, stay. You wait for me. Go ahead. Good girl, that's a good girl. Now the very last step is going to be taking your dog's food. If they can make it to the floor, then there's another step that makes this whole entire thing seem beautiful. So go ahead and take the food, tell your dog to stay, sit and stay, and put that food right there on the ground. Now the next step is to walk away from the food. See, when you walk away from things, automatically your dog wants to go for whatever it is you put on the floor. Now see, she even already got closer the second I stepped away. So basically what you're gonna do at this point, tell them to sit, Good girl. You're gonna take that food, you're gonna put it on the ground, you're gonna tell them to stay. Once they're super good at this, this is when you start implementing the walk away technique. So basically you're gonna say stay, and if they get up and go for that bowl after one step backwards, you're gonna lunge forward really quickly and grab that bowl and lift it up. Let me reinforce this point while we're here. Positive behavior gives way to progression, and negative behavior gives way to digression. So if your dog is doing something that you don't want them to do, take a step back. So if the food is on the floor and they're going for it before you say so, take a step back and put that food back on the stool. Same thing with the walk away method, okay? Let's go ahead, I know you're such a good girl. Let's go ahead and put this down. We're gonna say stay, take a step back, stay, take a step back, stay. So when they do stay, you will wanna have your treats on you and reward them for it because it's important to reward your dog when they do something that's really, really good. So one last time, let's go over everything. You are going to take your food, put it on a high elevation like this and move it to a stool. If your dog can sit still and stay while the food is on this stool, then you're ready for step two. Step two, you're gonna take the food, you're gonna move it to the floor. If your dog can stay while the food is in front of them just like this, then you're gonna move on to step three, which is the walk away method, and you will take two to three steps backwards while telling your dog to stay. And if they can do that, then you implement the word, go ahead, or whatever your word for go ahead is. And if you don't have a word for break or go ahead, I highly encourage you to implement one. I will be making a video on what break means and how to implement that, but for now, you can go to my basic training tips video. It's training 101 in the thumbnail and it will teach you how to do the break command. If you guys have any questions, this is basically the first steps that you need to take to getting your dogs to sit and patient wait for their dinner. You can tweak it a little bit just by adding time or adding distance, and this will make the trick look more 
fun, look more complicated. <laughs> look at Britney Spears. He's like, where do I get my extra food? Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you as always. We hope this video helped you with teaching your Siberian Huskies how to patiently wait for their dinner or their breakfast. If you guys really enjoyed the episode, we appreciate it. If you hit that thumbs up, hit that bell if you really enjoy our videos and subscribe for more content. We will see you next time, guys, with another episode of Guess What? Yep, whatever we make. Peace! Look at that husky butt!